Hello and welcome to this fourth in a series of instructional videos on the ease of access in Windows 10. Now the ease of access environment is where we can make some system changes to make Windows more inclusive for everybody. So if you have an impediment or a disability, whether it be visual, hearing or physical, this is where we can make some of those important changes. Before we go on, I'd like to ask you, if you haven't already, to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button if you like the video, and also click the notification icon bell to be notified of further updates. Now in this video, we're going to be looking at the color filter. This is where we're gonna make some of the changes if you say have a color blindness or other kind of visual impairment. So without further ado, Let's get started. We're going to be looking at color filters in ease of access. What we're going to need to do is go down to the bottom left and it will look like a window. And that's the start button. If we hover the mouse over that, it'll say start. So we left click on start. Everything is a left click unless I say otherwise. We're going to come up a little bit to this cog, what looks like a cog. Hover the mouse over that and it will say settings. Left click settings. We're now at Windows settings. This is where we can make a host of changes to our system. Word of uh, caution, always use a notepad and you can write down what the system settings are before you change them. That way, if you don't like what you've changed it to, you can go back to that and correct it. Over on the far right is ease of access, which is where we're going to go. We've already discussed about display, uh, cursor and pointer and magnify. If you haven't seen those videos, check them out. So we're on color filters. Now I turn my color filters on and if you want to control that by the desktop, by using the um, keys on your keyboard, make sure that this box is ticked here. Underneath it says night light, I'll come to that in a moment. So let me just turn on and off the color filters using the keys. So we're going to press the window key and the control and C. And you should have noticed that toggle switch has now gone from on to off. I'll do that one more time and turn it back on again. And now I've turned it back on again. We'll come back to night light. Down here we have select color filter, see the element of the screen better. So we have inverted, grayscale and grayscale inverted. Now you'll see here that my background is black. That's because I use dark mode. And I'll, I'll show you that towards the end of the video. Dark mode helps to save your, your vision. So I suffer with my eyes, not only now am I color blind, but I also suffer with dry eyes. And when you're looking at a computer screen, it's proven that you actually blink less often. So your eyes become drier, but I digress. Let's have a look at inverted colors. Now your background here would normally be white. So I'm gonna click inverted, there we go. Now let's have a look at my desktop. My de all my colors on the desktop have been inverted, almost like a negative. Let's come back to the settings. Let's change that to grayscale. Let's go back to the desktop and everything is in grayscale. Grayscale inverted does a combination of the two that we've just already looked at. So it inverts everything but in gray. Now, if you have a color blindness, such as myself, red green is the most common in the world. I think it's something like one in 10 men have, or one in 10 people have color blind, red green color blindness. So we've got red green and you notice on it's on here twice. That's because there's a green week and a red week. So let's have a look at the green week. And you'll notice this pie chart has changed color. So now let's have a look at the desktop again. This is how I prefer my desktop. 
then we have where we got the red green with the red week and let's have a look at it. you notice the chart has changed again here we are then we have blue yellow there's the blue yellow I'm going to change that back to the red green where the green is weak now I'd like to say at this point not everything that I'm changing on here that you will be able to see because for some reason this screen capture software that I'm using seems enabled to capture everything that I'm doing so you're gonna to have to take my word for this and give this a go for yourself just remember write down what the current settings are before you change them now that's almost it for the color filters but I did tell you I was going to cover two other things so we're going to cover the night light first so let's click on night light and it brings us to the display settings and as I said in the display video I was going to cover night light settings in another and this is where we're going to cover it now so we're going to click that we can turn on and off the night light settings manually from here or we can let it go by schedule now underneath here it's got strength and we can adjust the strength if I put the mouse pointer over that hover it over that forgive me it says 76 percent at the moment now this is one of the areas where it's not going to show you on the screen unfortunately but you can see it says 76 and you'll have to take my word for this if I drag this all the way to 100 it's going to make a big difference now if I put that here because I'm partially colorblind to me this kind of has a red hue to it like a I don't know ready green hue to it so it's extreme for me but to you you probably can't see any change at all if I bring this all the way down to zero so you got between zero and 100% now you can left click and just drag this across holding the left button down or you can just choose anywhere on this bar and left click and the slider will jump to that setting so let's bring this back to where I like to have it around about here schedule now we can let the computer choose from sunset to sunrise and that does that by um, using the location setting which is turned on by default in Windows 10 I turn mine off which is why I have a selection down here saying 1900 hours to 0700 hours so if you want to change it manually just go to set hours then click on what hours and choose what hours you want and then when you're happy with the hours and the minutes you just click the tick and everything is set same for the on and off now if you do decide to let the computer turn this on and off at the moment I have mine automatically come on at 1900 hours but let's go to where it says sunset to sunrise in my location sunset to sunrise is between 2055 hours and 0510 hours I like using a 24 hour clock yours may say am and pm So I'm going to go back to set hours now that's basically that for night setting now let me show you dark mode because I use dark mode and it helps to reduce my eye strain so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this down now if you're not sure where all these settings are what you can do little tip here go down to the start button click on start and just type in dark mode and you'll see turn on dark mode system wide turn on dark mode for apps and so forth so let's just click on turn on for system wide that'll take us to immediately to this settings page relevant to what we were looking for and you'll see here choose your color click on that we have light dark and custom i use a dark mode Turn, transparency effects I leave turned on automatically pick an accent color from your background these are settings you can play around with but as I said write down what they are before you make any changes start taskbar and action center 
title bars and window bars so you can play around with these settings thank you for watching i hope you found it informative take care